subscribers gypsy girl had asked me to try to put some things together as I prepare for the John Muir Trail kind of give you guys a flavor for the things that are going through my head and some of the changes that I'm trying to make as we get closer to game time one of the big changes is this pack so I have really liked my Osprey Ariel 65 but it weighs 4.9 pounds with the top hat. And so I was trying to figure out a way to lighten up some of my load, especially since I have to carry a bear canister. And one of the ways was a pack. So this is the Mariposa 60. And I wasn't sure I was gonna like it uh, because it had one main compartment, not a lot of, you know, uh, I didn't think have a lot of ways to organize, but in reality it does. There's some great outside pockets that I'll be able to put things in. I pretty much did a walk today up a huge, huge hill. It felt pretty good, surprisingly. So I'll um, show you what I've got in my pack. I have most everything in there. There's some purchases that I'm still thinking about making. Instead of carrying my huge battery for charging, I have a 26, 26,800 milliamp battery, but it it is very heavy. So I am thinking about bringing a smaller one. I have one that's about 11,000, maybe it's 13,000. But if I get a, a solar thing that I can hang on my pack. And then the other thing I'm thinking is I need to be able to carry something on the plane, like a little day pack. I've been looking at the Sea to Summit sill day pack which is water resistant. Uh, the other thing that I've got, uh, I changed up my shoes a little bit. I went with a wide instead of the normal. It seems to feel pretty good on my feet. Maybe I don't have to wrap my feet up so much with um, protection. So we'll see. So I'm changing up a few things. Um, I did take this from my uh, other backpack and put it on here. I did buy the Gossamer Gear shoulder um, pocket. It's the li large. Instead of hanging my Garmin on this huge carabiner that I had, it fits pretty nice in the front pocket. Got some sunglasses in here. This uh, pack has side pockets. This thing has quite a few pockets. The only thing I don't have on my pack is tent poles will go over here along with my um, umbrella. I did get the attachment for the umbrella. There is a velcro that goes around and you fit your stem of your uh, umbrella in here. And then there's a, uh, where did it go? I found it. It slipped down, but you're able to put your, the end of your umbrella through there to stabilize it. I'll have to mess with that later. I think what else I did. Oh, on the back, which I'll show you, I've got a place that I can attach my uh, hiking uh, poles if I'm not carrying them. So let's see what's in and outside my pack. So let's look at the pack. So this pack has a removable um, seat, basically. This comes out, it's probably not that easy when it's all filled with stuff. But it'll come out and you can use it as a sit pad. I'm actually going to try to get the upgraded version, but it's on back order right now. Um, I do have a place for my water bladder. Um, I'll show that from the inside in a little bit, but it comes out. And I do plan on using the bladder again just because it keeps me drinking. I will carry the Bee Free Catadine in my outside pocket here. And that'll have just a little bit of water in case my bladder does empty for any reason. I have a backup. I will carry the smart water bottle on the outside of my pack on the same side as my uh, umbrella. I have a, a snot rag on the outside. 
And then the outside pocket, which I have my sunglasses inside and my Garmin inReach. So that's on the front side of my backpack. On this side, I have part of my tent and my toiletry bag. So what's nice about this is when you get to camp, you can just get the gear that you need right away, which will be the tent and your poles, which is on the other side, and get set up. This is my fly for my tent, which I still need to waterproof. The tent I have is the uh, HV ultralight two-person tent, so Terry and I will be sharing a tent. Besides my fly for my tent, I have my ground cloth. Oh, my ground cloth, we will put over here for now. The toiletry bag, I know we do have to carry out toilet paper, so I'll have to make sure I have a bag inside here for that. And I have toilet paper, a deuce of spades, some hand sanitizer, and let's see what else. Actually, a dog. Uh, bag so that I can put the um, toilet paper. I put a um, a dryer sheet inside it to keep the smell to the minimum. So I'll be taking that. For the pockets, this pocket does have sunblock and it's got my lamp and my mosquito netting. And on the other side, I've got my water filter, which is a Sawyer squeeze, my attachment, and my CNOC bladder. It's a two liter bladder. I am going to use my Osprey cover, rain cover for my pack in case it rains. I do use a liner inside my bag, but not going to hurt to have this on the outside in the downpour. Working my way around, I have some hand sanitizer and I have my camp shoes on the outside. I did put the shock cord on the outside of my bag. It did not come with that. So with these shock cords, you can still attach something else, something that might be wet that you wouldn't want to put away just to get it to dry. All right, so inside this mesh pocket, I have my things that I might want to get, uh, uh, like my puffy. I do have the Mountain Hardware puffy. I am gonna put my puffy in a lock sack waterproof bag because I will be carrying my puffy on the outside of my bag so that I have e easy access to it. I'll have my hat and my rain gear in here. I'm still debating on my hat. Um, I like my orange lightweight one. This is a little heavier. I think I might be able to get by with the lightweight orange. I will be taking my, my rain jacket. And the jacket I have is the Marmot in a size medium. I do have a rain skirt, but because I'm not so sure about the weather conditions up above the 10,000 foot, I think the rain pants will help with the wind protection if I need it. These are the outdoor research rain pants. And that's in a size large. There is one more thing in there, and that is my rain gloves. And then I'll have a pair of just regular gloves in here too. But these are, uh, what kind? They're also outdoor research for rain protection on my hands. 
So that empties the back side of my pack. Like I said, this is a very nice, um, stretchy mesh pocket that can fit quite a bit in there. And then these can lash additional things on the outside of the pack. So let's go to the other side. On this side, I will have my umbrella. I actually have the Six Moon Design Silver Shadow, which is uh, carbon fiber, lightweight. Um, I think I will use it, especially if it rains. I've uh, liked having an umbrella. I will have my tent poles and tent stakes on this side. And this is my tent itself. It's just in a bag just to organize it. But uh, this is my Big Agnes tent. Last thing I'll have in here is my tent poles and I've got my stakes in here too. I have a whole story on uh, Big Agnes tent and trying to get things for it. I was debating whether to get a different tent to try to lighten my weight and decided not to, but I wanted to get either a replacement fly just to make sure it was waterproof and a ground cloth to make sure it was in the best condition it could be. So don't ever, 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 ever go to a website called bigagnesstores.com. It is fraudulent and I had to go through quite a bit to get my money back. So uh, don't ever use that website. Big Agnes is a great company. They are bigagnes.com. So they have great customer service um, and they've been trying to get that fraudulent website off the internet and have not been successful. So yeah, I have a good story to tell on that one someday. Now for the inside of that pack. It is the Gossima Gear Mariposa 60. They do have a, um, a thing here. I haven't figured out if I'm going to put anything inside this. It's very skinny. You could put some maps possibly in here or something, a notepad or some sort uh, on the top. You could actually put some snacks in there too if you wanted. That wouldn't be a bad place for them. I'll probably put mine in my fanny pack, though. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm trying to do this left-handed. All right, I put my... I just threw in as much heavy stuff as I could. This typically would be my electronics bag. I've got both my 26,800 amp battery in here, as well as my 13,000-something-odd one plus all our ten of cords, which I won't be taking, but I wanted to put some weight in my pack just to see how it would be. So I will probably keep my electronics on the top in my other bag that was on the bottom, but either way it was accessible. I'd hate to have to take everything out of my bag to get to my electronics if I needed it. So uh, I do have a liner bag, I mentioned, and I use that in my other bag. Some people use contractor bags. I had this with my Osprey. So right now, I mentioned I'm, this is what, some extra clothes, my sleep clothes. I want to get a um, lightweight day pack, which I can put my clothes in when I'm not using the day pack um, instead of this, this thing. I don't have all my clothes in here. I'll have an extra pair of socks and then I'll have a pair of sleep socks. Yeah, I don't have everything in here yet. I'll have some long johns and I'll have a sleep shirt. And then I'll have underclothes. But that should be about it for extra clothes. I have a, what I call a ditty bag. 
I have some extra parts for my water bladder and uh, water bottles. I have matches, a lighter, and if we wanted to do a fire, I'm debating whether we need to bring that. And then I have some tent repair in case something happens to the tent. And then um, just some thread, odds and ends. And I'll go through this before I leave just to make sure I really need it. Like I may not need this um, string. And something I may put in here in its place is um, the liquid water purifier. I will have some sort of first aid kit and my toothbrush and toothpaste. So I'll work on that still. That's not quite finished. I have my sleeping bag, which I have put around and inside the, around the bear canister. I have an enlightened quilt. It's a 950 fill zero degree bag. And I have my air mat, which is a Nemo vector. So this is the uh, pad you end up stepping on to inflate your pad. I'll go ahead and take off the bear bag. I don't have the lid on it right now. And I just put a bunch of random food in there. I'm going to put some reflective tape on this, which I bought. I just need to apply it. So, that's pretty heavy. And then, this is my uh, liner for my bag. And then, I have my Hello, which is kind of my splurge item. It's a Thermarest. But it's comfortable. So I'll put that at the bottom of my pack. I have my water bladder in here, and I have about two liters of water. So it is in here. And I have a setup so that I don't have to remove this every time I fill it. I can fill it from the outside nozzle through my Sawyer squeeze. So that's pretty much it on the inside of my pack. I do want to show you I put some lashing points on here for my hiking poles if I ever need to store them right in there. There's one lashing point and here's the other. And I use the Lecky Cressida hiking poles. You have to excuse my poles. They're pretty dirty. But um, I did find out from <laughs> Gossamer Gear, I sent an email, that these two attachments at the bottom of the pack are for your pole tips. But that'll keep them in place down here. Something else I've done in preparation for the John Muir Trail. I was concerned about um, altitude sickness, so I did get with my physician and they did prescribe some Diamox, which is um, actually a name for acetazolamide. So that is something that you can take preventatively a few days before you go to high altitude to hopefully ward off any of those symptoms. The only reason I'm concerned is, uh, I don't know, five, six years ago, we were in Colorado uh, trying to make uh, to the top of Long's Peak. We were at the Boulder Field around 10,000 feet, and I ended up getting very sick, just um, nausea and uh, no appetite and very tired. So uh, I hopefully will avoid that going to the Sierras. So I did weigh my pack before I took everything out and it was 30 pounds. That's probably the top end of what you want to carry with the Mariposa. I'm, so that's kind of a synopsis of what I'm bringing in my pack. I'm going to be trying a few new things and uh, sticking with some of the old. 
Uh, I'll have to let you know how it all works out. So the John Muir Trail is scheduled for August. In the meantime, Vito and I are going to be doing a national park road trip. We're going up into Indiana, North Dakota, the Badlands. We're going to make a stop in Kansas City, uh, head over to Mammoth Caves, I think it is, and then uh, make our way back home. So it's going to take us about a month. If you're new to the channel, welcome. For those of you that have been around a while, thanks for sticking with us. I hope you're finding the channel enjoyable. Uh, we're having fun uh, as we put these together. So uh, hopefully it'll inspire others to get out and enjoy this beautiful country that we do have and to keep active and uh, enjoying life. So if you haven't already, Hit that subscribe button and even that notification button and definitely put some comments in there i do read all the comments and i do try to respond to all of them so let's get this adventure going mm -hmm.